Okay, here's, here's an interesting thing that the calculator can do that uh, not a lot of people make use of, but I, I think if you thought about it, you could find places where this would be quite useful here. I'm going to show you how the calculator actually can do function notation. So we've got y equals f of x, and we're going to define this to be x squared plus 1. Now remember what that means. f here, okay, the f is, is naming the function, but the f here stands for the rule independent variable squared increased by 1. And then what's inside here is telling us that the independent variable in this case is just x. So then this becomes, putting those together, x squared increased by 1. Now, I'm going to let the calculator handle that. So here's the calculator. Press, turn it on. We're going to go into y equals. And I'm going to enter that function, x squared plus 1. Okay? And press enter. So now that's in the, the calculator. Uh, I'm going to quit. Go back to the home screen here. And I'm going to show you how you can use this. I can, for example, tell the calculator to do this. We can now say, okay, what is f of 3? Now, I already know that if, if f is the rule, square the independent variable increase by 1, well then this is that value, the independent variable. So 3 squared plus 1, I already know that that should be 10. Okay? So now I'm going to go to my calculator here. And this is how I handle this. And I, this is one of the things I love about this. One of my favorite buttons on the calculator is VARS. Okay? The calculator remembers everything that it does in a variable. And to access those variables, I press the VARS button right there. And what that does is that gives me a whole list of the different categories of variables that this thing uses. Uh, and you will see that there are, there are applications later on here that are, that are quite useful. Um, but right now, I'm using the Y variable. So I'm going to go into here. Right now, uh, the only word that I really recognize is function, okay, uh, other than on-off. I know on-off, but it, in this, to be honest with you, I don't know what on-off does in this calculator at this point. I've never really looked into that. But we're going to go into our function. And I had put that equation into y1. So now I'm going to choose y1, and now it's just sitting here. This is, in function notation on the calculator, that is the f. So if I put bracket 3, bracket calculator gets that. That means f of 3, and it gives me 10 here. Now, I can use this for a lot of different things. If I now use the second enter, okay, I can go back into there, make this, let's say, negative 2. I can evaluate this function very quickly for a whole variety of different, uh, different values. Additionally, um, let's say that I, I wanted to take that function here Let's say that I wanted to not only put something inside it, let's say I wanted to multiply by something else out front here. So let's say I went 5 times f of 2. Well, let's just talk about this. Order of operations, first of all, tells me to deal with what's inside the brackets here, and that, that applies here just as it does anywhere. So 2, 2 squared plus 1. So 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. That's the value of the function at 2. So then the last thing I'm going to do here is outside, I'm going to multiply by 5. That should give me 25, okay? So on my calculator, I'm going to see if I can uh, get those same results here. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pull up that function again, just using second enter. To, to put a 5 in front, I'm going to use the insert, second delete, so the INS above there. And I'm going to put a 5 times there. So now it's 5 times my function, and I'm, instead of that 1 in there, I'm going to put that 2. Now this should, be, this should be 25, and there it is. So the calculator can do a little bit of work with function notation.